Okay, so moving on to a couple of recent prints. Uh, those anybody that follows me on Instagram may well have seen uh, this, and possibly on Twitter as well. And this is obviously, uh, as you may know, this is Daniel Array's 3D printed adjustable wrench. Uh, it prints in place uh, with built-in supports. Uh, those supports just just literally pull away um, with a bit of force, and then the uh, the wrench starts working. As you can see. Uh, it works pretty good uh, as with most printing place things you do have to work it a little bit at first just to free it up but uh, it, it's working really great now I'm, I'm really loving Daniel's designs uh, and hoping to be printing more of them as, as the year goes goes on so um, I printed that just before Christmas that was printed on the Prusa and it is printed in filamentum uh, CPE and this I think is the iced green um, really nice filament and as you can see there's there's a bit of give in it etc so that's pretty good um, since coming back and getting everything back up and running again this was the first print I did this is uh, a charity that my family are heavily involved in back in Manchester in the UK and it's a living history museum and this is the the logo that actually my older sister uh, designed so I'd been um, planning to uh, to draw it up in fusion and 3d print it so that's what i've done i'm going to be printing like badges and stuff like that this was really just a, a test print i did one test print um, before christmas uh, in cpe but this is me getting getting back on and uh, seeing what i can do so uh, that came out quite nice that's filamentum pla crystal clear so uh, again that, that came out quite nice so i'm, I'm fairly pleased that the uh, that the proof is back to printing good so far so what does 2018 hold for me and for my channel that's a reasonable question i think so uh, the the answer to that hopefully is is to get better to get slicker so that's my plan all along i've been trying to get comfortable in front of the camera to stop saying er uh, quite as much and I maybe remember to turn my phone onto silent before i do uh, start recording but to, uh, you know it's it's a journey for me and I will we'll see hopefully I'll get better at the not only the being in front of the camera but also at the the software skills so using the the editing software etc so that's that's all to come this year uh, also so uh, generally from the design and the printing point of view I'm going to be looking at hopefully getting back on to doing more galactic British Empire playset stuff uh, and that includes these uh, the, there seems to be a bit of a, a trend at the moment for miniature landscapes, miniature buildings, that sort of thing. And I've already designed a few buildings for the, the playset, but not printed them as they're, they're quite large. Uh, so I've just never got round to it. So what I might do is combine all of those and make some of these miniature sets. Uh, I've got a few ideas of what I can do on that, so uh, that's uh, interesting me. Uh, I'm also hoping to get back and do more practical printing this year. That, tended to be my kind of my main introduction into 3d printing and, and what I do an awful lot of um, a lot of those practical prints don't really lend themselves to being published on Thingiverse because they they tend to be you solving a problem that's specific to you um, with whatever it is that that's gone wrong in the house so um, they may well make good videos so we'll, we'll see how we go on that one so other than that there's quite a lot of multi-part projects that I've got in the works these are either things that uh, I've, I've already started I've printed in the past but just ran out of time never or, or possibly in the case of the one that I'm, I'm cradling at the moment um, my skills just weren't quite up to the job at the time um, to achieve exactly the way I wanted it to achieve but um, hopefully I'll get back to them and do them some of them are kind of on the still on the design board and uh, either the skills or the tools weren't quite there so to get there this uh, as I say was a was one of the ones I'm not really going to go into much detail about what it is at the moment but there's, there's various parts to uh, to this um, probably could uh, could hone the number of parts down as well as I go forward but it's uh, the idea is to, to go back and, and finish all these ones that I've, uh, I've been sat on if you like so um, hopefully get back to do, doing some of those and then I, I mean I guess I, I was kind of in a rush at the end of the year doing things you may have seen the Christmas tree um, that really I would like to to get ahead of this year and um, I'm 
do some of these, you know, the, the big event type print uh, models and, and get some of those kind of uh, in my back pocket ready for uh, when the seasons arrive for them to, to fit. So uh, looking to do some of them. And also, and more importantly, um, hoping to do some collaboration with my uh, good friend Tom Jackson, uh, Filament Frenzy. We're playing around some ideas at the moment. If you've not seen Tom uh, prints ridiculously well, he's, um, he's, he's somewhat of an artist when it comes to getting the, his printers to perform and um, he's now got quite a few printers as well that he gets to perform. So, uh, as I say, I'm hoping to do some kind of work with, with Tom. We've got some ideas for projects, we've got some ideas for videos. Okay, so all that remains is for me to thank you for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see this sort of, more of this sort of content from, from myself, then I'd be really happy if you subscribed. And uh, we'll... we'll Definitely trying to ramp things up and try and uh, improve on the content. So uh, thanks a lot for watching again, guys.